Hi there, welcome back to our daily intention series. I last came to you from the 15th floor of a hotel in New York. As you can see, I am back on our 20 acre hobby farm and switching things up a little bit here from the kitchen so that you could see a nice view of the rolling hills outside. Don't worry, I will give a fig update very soon. Um, it's been an interesting journey with Fig the last week or two, but uh, he's he's holding on strong. So uh, I will share that with you in the next few days. But for now, I am here and I'm ready to share today's word, which is flexibility. What I wrote about flexibility back in 2019 was, I have been on a yoga journey for about 18 months. I started with private sessions at home because I was too embarrassed by my lack of flexibility to attend a public class. As I learned poses and gained confidence in my ability, I ventured out and found a studio that is a safe space where nobody is so advanced that I feel intimidated. I have also learned to modify poses using all kinds of props and not push beyond my body's capability. While physically I may still not be that flexible, I met my body where it's at and nurture my practice as a form of meditation and healing. I reflected this morning on the two problematic areas in my life which I wrote about on Friday. In step seven fashion, I prayed for a release of these character defects. When I thought more about the control freak issue, it stems from my expectation of outcomes. I tried to control so many aspects of my life and was easily angered or upset when they didn't go my way. I was a control freak myself, which is why, while I understand them, it makes me resent them. Learning to take things as they come in sobriety and knowing that I'm not the one in charge, my higher power is, makes outcomes a lot easier to swallow. Is it time for you to let go of expectations? Fill the day with flexibility. And as is so often the case, this is very timely. I started yoga teacher training this week, and when I shared my why with the group, I talked specifically about this situation where I started yoga to be more flexible physically, and it has continued to reward me with flexibility of my mind and soul as well. I still can't even touch my toes without a whole lot of warm up, but the way I've carried my yoga practice into a holistic practice thanks to the Body Mind Soul Studio and our instructor Ali Van Fossen, I have adopted flex adapted adopted flexibility throughout all aspects of my life. It is an amazing place to be. Appreciate your flexibility as I think through this because I really just record these on the fly. I don't use a script or a template. It is just me riffing on the thought of the day. I would love to hear about where you're at on your course or your journey of flexibility. Are you able to let go of things? Are you still a little rigid or gripping? I'm sure you're working on it wherever you're at. So tell me about it. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the next word of the day or thought of the day. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.